Hey y'all, on today's Crafting with Cooter, we're going to be unboxing and setting up this 5-speed mini lathe by Excelsior. All your projects will be cuter when you're crafting with Cooter. I love watching them wood turning videos on YouTube, and I said, man, that looks like fun. I just want to try that. Give that a try. But I ain't had a lot of money, and uh, I seen a couple videos that said things like, uh, you know, uh, a lot of these little mini lathes, are, they're all made in the same... Uh, factory over in china anyway so don't be spending those six hundred dollars on one so i was gonna go to harbor freight and get that uh sucker there they got his own a couple hundred bucks maybe like 179 bucks and maybe even get a 20 percent off coupon and i was like man i'm gonna buy that and then uh as soon as i was gonna do that rockler uh which is uh here local too they had a uh, uh email come out to me it said uh that uh 299 dollars but you get the $79 bed extension uh, for free. So I pulled the trigger on that and went ahead and got one of the wood turning tools they had there too, it was on sale. It was like $79, so it's like, I don't know what I got for free, a bed extension or the wood turning tool, but uh, anyway, it came out to be the same price, so free wood turning tool, I guess. Now, as you can see, the five speed mini lathe by Excelsior says, this is just on the box, it says this is a full featured lathe and compact bench top size which is what I really needed because I don't got a lot of room for a big old expensive lathe anyway. It says it turns spindles or legs up to 17 and 3 quarter inch in length and bowls up to 10 inch in diameter. Got a powerful half horsepower motor, provides ample power for large turnings like bowls and platters. Easy access to five different speeds, 760, 1100, 1600, and 2200, and 3200 RPM. It's made out of heavy-duty cast iron construction, reduces vibration for stable turning and maximum durability. I bought this mini lathe from Rockler here in Arlington, Texas. Uh, they didn't pay me for this. I just uh, figured y'all want to see what's inside of one. Okay, let's open her up. All right, let's take a look in here. Instructions. Don't want to lose that. Gonna need me some instructions. Seems to be pretty well packaged here. Alright, we'll set that aside. Alright. Let me get the camera so you can see that. Okay, let's lift this sucker out of here. It's heavy. Yeah, that some bitch is heavy. Comes with some neat little tools here to help you get set up. Couple of chucks in here. place very nice this one goes over here and this one will go over here I'd appreciate it if y'all subscribe to my channel and click the thumbs up for the like the video so YouTube knows y'all like this and can get uh, some more coming out to you uh, also leave me a comment I like to hear what you say uh, you know I'm new to this I like uh, working with my hands and doing some woodworking so uh, if you got any comments, let me hear them. I'd love to hear them. Thanks. Okay, now this here is the back of the 
headstock and this is how you adjust the speed of it you got unscrew this here take that off here. as you can see there's a belt here and there's different gears in there you just move it up and down depending on if you want the machine to go faster or slower comes this nice little face plate here that you can screw this in your projects and then just take that sucker right there and just screw it back on there and then turn it from there there's one more thing I wanted to show y'all this here is straight out the box no adjustments and it lines up real nice sometimes you get one of the cheaper ones they don't line up like that or it's uh, you don't get centered tap like that and it, it don't work so good and that's about it that's all it takes to set up this uh, mini laid by Excelsior and uh, I'm real excited to start turning and uh, keep an eye out for uh, some of my wood turning videos that are coming soon thanks all your projects will be cuter when you're crafting with Cooter.